Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Help. And um, today I'll be giving you a case review on this right here. Um, it's the Marware Sports Suit Convertible. Um, really nice. Um, I like it all around. Um, just some, just some, uh, I'll point out one bad thing right away. Uh, if you can see that, you can see that uh, the little protection over the screen is sticking to the screen. Uh, right there, it's like a big bubble. That's, you can feel it go down. Um, that's one of the bad things. Um, it's not really that bad. It's something that can be fixed. Um, that's That might be the only bad thing I have about this case. Um, other than that there's no place for the USB right here. You have to lift it up like this. Um, and maybe not a maybe not a um, uh, empty slot for the uh, home and home buttons and the volume rockers but um that's not really anything that bad to it um, I really like the case all around I'll just show you a couple specs on it um, but once again like I said that that could be a downside even though it does come out um, it's not too bad like I said um, and the other thing is that there's no USB port on the um, outside of the case that you can access it you actually have to pull this out from right here you see how this goes in I don't know if you'd like that but I actually like it how it goes in like this let me put it in real quick might be kind of hard and then you just see it right there it just slides into that right there um, this is the uh, belt clip obviously unless you've been hiding under a rock you should know what this is it's a belt clip that you can actually take off if you put in like a a, a pin or like a little screwdriver in there if you can see deep in there, it's like a little uh, place for a screwdriver where you can spin it and take it out if you don't want it. Like if you if you don't put it on your belt clip or anything. Um, so um, I'll go ahead and take it out to show you. Um, one problem I did have, it wasn't really a problem, but um, it was a thing that I, I really had a hard time putting it inside the case and uh, pulling it out as well. Like I'll try right now. It's a really, really tight fit. Which is a good thing. It's just a bad thing if you if you're trying to get it out. But let me go ahead and point out some good things about the case. Um, it's really it's it really feels good in your pocket when you don't have the uh, when you don't have the belt clip on. It really feels good in your pocket. It's it, you can barely feel it because it's a uh, it's the nice it's the nice like um, sports suit I guess that's what it's called. So um, I I don't know any other way to describe it. Um, but it's just that material that soft material. Um, and, and it's not so bulky like maybe the leather case or um, something like that and it's, it just really stands stands good in your um, pocket and you don't have to worry about your screen ever because there's a protective film over top of that you don't ever have to um, you don't ever have to worry about it getting scratched up or anything if you have something else in your pocket or if you just don't like um, it getting scratched by your pockets which it sometimes does um, another thing is the lint. If you have problems with lint, and if you have like um, some kind of cases, um, maybe the maybe the slide-on cases or something like that, um, they usually collect lint inside. If you have them in your pocket, like I do, but um, this actually does collect lint, not too much, not a big problem. But right there, that little hole for um, that right there, if you see that, that, and right here, the hole for the um, the headphone jack. And on the sides right here, when you put this in, you can still see there's little lots of the chrome showing. Um, it's not a big deal if it collects lint because you can really just put your finger in there. You can slide it and you'll get some lint off. And um, it'll be it'll look all good. And then if you pull it out, let's see if it does any damage. I'm not expecting it to. If it does, then um, that would not be good. <laughs> but uh, I'll just get it pushed off off of the clip because it is a really, really tight fit. Maybe like a jumpsuit or uh what was it um the uh name of the case wow sports suit yeah because you know how they're tied on people so you know but um this, this is aggravating me i'm like killing my ipod trying to get it out okay as you see it does take a while to get out which uh they usually don't expect people to get it out so much like me but I'll try still, but um, as you see on the back, it is a uh, it's like that cushion material, like I said in the unboxing video. If you saw that, it feels really nice. Um, so just let me try to take this out still. Got to see Heinz Ward, yeah. <laughs> All 
I'm just trying to get something going so I don't have to, you guys don't just have to watch me trying to take this iPod out, struggling really bad. <laughs> I just got the bubble out, so that should do something. There you go, it came out easier once I got the bubble off the screen. There we go. There is one, there is something that, um, it actually does like hit the volume rockers and like flick them up and may damage them, so if you, you gotta watch out for that. Like if you look at it right now, you see the iPod, see how long it is, and then look at the case. You would not expect an iPod touch to be able to fit in, in this. That little slit right there. Um, it might look kind of big on the camera, but it's really actually really small. When you look at it in person, it's a really small case. It's like that big. See, it's really small. Well, if you put this up, then it's only that big. So, uh, but it is really nice. I really like it. It does have the de designated spot for the home button right there. Um, there's no hole. It's just, it's just a little square and a little button right there for the um, home and the volume rockers there's two buttons right there and like I said if you take the belt clip off it looks a lot better um, and it goes in your pocket and it actually feels good you can't really use it as a stand if you try to like if you maybe want to try it use it as a stand because um, if you put it in there it stays up if you have your iPod in there but then when you push it like really lightly it actually falls down but um, I, this is a really great case I only have two cons for it um, one of my cons is that there's no uh, slit right here for the USB. That'd be really nice, not having to have to pull this out to be able to get to your USB. That'd be nice. And um, my second con that I have with this is that um, there is no holes like for the home button, the volume rockers, and the um, power button. Um, it's it's nice how it is. I'm not. It's not really a big con. It's just that it'd be a lot better if you could actually touch the button and. Um, and make it like that so um but when you're trying to type on here as well with this over top of it, I know you're probably wondering how how's the typing and playing games it's actually pretty good except for when it comes to typing um, if you try to hit something on the edges or down low you can't really touch the buttons down low like the space that'd be right there um, but other than that it's 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 good with everything else playing games is just like regular um, but my pros are that it's a really nice case it feels really good um, has a tight fit on your iPod. It doesn't. It doesn't come out at all. If you try to like shaking it really hard, it doesn't come out. Um, I dropped it. It didn't do a thing. I dropped it on purpose, not not to a non accident. But um, another another pro is that it does have the belt clip in case you wanted it um, to be on. It also does have the armband, which if you're like a jogger or a runner, you could put it on your hand and uh, be able to run with it and it, it probably works pretty well like that too. So guys, thanks for watching. This was a review of the Marware um, sports suit case. Um, really nice, it's $34.99 um, if you go to their website and check that out. Guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.